you know, you have the right to be angry, but it's what you do with it. And my sister-in-law once told me, look, Mike, you got to carry a big stick in the hall of use. And I have my big stick now. And I'm not going to sign on with BP while they stall me out. Look, if you put faith in a major oil company, I don't believe nothing they say. Now, all the people that worked real hard, they wasn't invited around the president. Figure that one out. All the people that's been on the news, but they wasn't there when the president was there. That's some dirty people down here. That wanna, it's got to be dirty politics. But you think that's right to send insurance of justice after people? I'll fight for my rights now. I'll bust you in the teeth and put your hands on it. My hands are broke up now. But I'm not hard. Look, I gotta put this stuff back on one more time. So you have to take this off every time BP cancels the mistake. No, you should only take it off if they called you. But I took it off in good faith and hoping they would call me. But uh, instead, they hire people out of here. I mean, they didn't even hire the people that's born here, born and raised here, generation after generation. All you gotta do is watch all the tapes back when all this is all over. And you're gonna know, my daddy used to call me Little Dick because his daddy called him Dick. You're gonna know Little Dick was right. That's funny. Hey, right now, you wanna do something to have fun? You got a whole, uh, we call, uh, like a joke, CNN, Common News News Network. Yeah. I can't believe it. In the news, you know that something happened, but you don't know what happened. I don't trust nobody. I broke my back in the oil field, built a uh, blow up, a semblance of a blow up event. You think I trust BP? Especially Hawkins Insurance Company. Anybody has Hawkins Insurance has to have the head check, buddy. So you actually built blow up pumps on the. I assembled them, I didn't build them, put them together. And so why did this one fail? I broke my back on Sec Secco 703. I'm going to give you a plug nickel for the oil field. And, and that's not all BP's fault because the United States government should have had at least a high school kid up there watching what they do and make sure they do it right. And when you work under so much pressure, hey, one air bubble will feel a big piece of equipment. Just think about it. If fluids froze by having too much air in a hydraulic line, my God, bro, 5,000 foot, you know how many atmospheres? I mean, it's bad, bro. Politics, bro. Politics mess up the world. At least overseas, when a company leaves, they'll buy people off. They'll help them out. Here, they stall them out. You have the right to fight and hope you get a real lawyer. I don't good. know what they're waiting for. I don't think they're going to wait this one out. This one's going to hit them and hit them and hit them. Not a good deal. You know what's the sad part about all this? You have to hire a lawyer. Now what BP done for me? I've been waiting for the price of shrimp to go up and fight for it for so many years. BP don't care about me. They're gonna have an insurance adjust to adjust my claim. There's something really bad going on. Who gives a shit about me? Is this primarily for shrimping or can you do other fishing? You can do anything you want to get a license for, but you know, before this happened, the redfish was so thick you have to slow down to go around them, the sharks too. I went up right after this happened to fight for uh, uh, the rights to uh, fight for my rights. And we're not being held. Were you hit by Katrina as well? Everybody was. I was in Ike. I was in this boat in Ike. It was a wall of water like up to here when I was going through it. What happened to you? I don't know, I'm still peeing blood. I was born here. Their family was born here. Their family was born here. Most of this place here, the titles of the land, doesn't match the same titles in Washington. Uh, we some rough people here, but uh, you can't butt all over me. Are you pretty annoyed at this point, or are you just take life as it comes? Well, I was mad today. 
So it's, it's really it's a lot of stress and a lot of pressure. Off and on with this equipment, when I hope you get a job and you're from here and everybody from outside getting jobs. Oh, man. Oh, some fish do certain things. Some fish are so stupid. Man, God made uh, God made a. Uh, all preachers different, man. And they do a Pacific thing at a Pacific time for a Pacific reason, and they all have their own little tricks, so you can't get a hold of them. But, but a shrimp has a knack. He will jump out the water and die rather than stay in poison water. But what it does positively do is once all gets on the bottom, uh, uh, that, that's these real bedding grounds. They just come in to grow up. And so, so if they put dispersant into the oil, that's just gonna sink down onto the shrimps. Oh anyway. man, that's a horse of a different color right there. Mm. Uh, I'm not a scientist, so uh, all I know is what I hear is what they outlawed that overseas and they're using it here. I mean, it, it seems almost doubling the problem in some ways, you know, just leaving it sitting there, all the oil. You're good at your job, buddy. They don't, don't have no solution, and uh, the people they have running around out there is doing it like they're insane, and they have people staying up on the boats, and they're running through the pipes and the sunk boats. Jellyfish out there, they didn't care about it. Man from BP made a statement. The jellyfish is now poisoned or half dead. Okay. The fish eat the jellyfish. There's people here make their living solely on crabs and, and, and uh, spade fish. The spade fish eat jellyfish. Some fish you need a glass hook for. Mangrove snap. Some fish, hey bro, they eat each other. They the best bait for each other. And if you get caught using that, there's like a 10 grand pond on it. Some of these uh, wildlife deals is worse than getting busted for drugs. <laughs> Isn't that pathetic? I mean, they, they need to learn how to keep their mouth shut if they don't make their living on the water. Come on in. Wait, let me control my dogs. 